Good morning. It's the 24th of April, 2020. My name is Mark Pesci, and welcome to the next 100 seconds. We've passed through something that, if we don't want to call it a singularity, has some resemblances to it. Back in March, the amount of time in which you could reliably predict things would happen in the future decreased for a period of time down to about 30 minutes. That's how rapidly things were changing. Somewhere in the middle of the month, as the pandemic really started to affect people and started to affect governments and systems and businesses and economies and everything else, everything suddenly became very uncertain. We've passed through that, and we passed through a period of time a little bit later on when the view came to about 30 hours. You could see about what was going to happen through to the next day. Now that we're almost at the end of April, we're starting to get enough clarity that you can almost see through for around 30 days. We can probably have some idea what the end of May looks like. If that goes well, it is possible that by the end of May, we should be able to make some reasonable predictions about what the next 30 weeks looks like. That is, until the end of 2020. And if that goes well, then maybe at the end of 2020, we can take a look at 30 months. That is what it will look like around the middle of 2023. These are the timelines. Right now, those are planning horizons. I would advise anyone not to make plans that don't fit comfortably into these horizons. Right now, you probably shouldn't be making plans for more than 30 days in the future. At the end of next month, maybe you can start making plans through to the end of the year. And then maybe at the end of the year, you can start making plans for the next few years. And that's 100 seconds.